What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, that would be really appreciative. Follow me on all social media, it's always in my description, but my handle on Instagram and Twitter is at stevieJash3. And follow me on TikTok, because quarantine's got me really bored and I never ever ever thought I would be a TikToker. I would make TikToks at all. Follow me, it's also stevieJash3 on TikTok. It's really fun, you know? But yeah, that's a life hack. If you're bored during quarantine right now, just start making TikToks because what else is there to do? I figured I could talk about some of my pickups in 2020 that I haven't been able to show off yet. I mean, can't go anywhere. I haven't had a reason to show them off or show you guys them at all because um, I bought them like January, February time frame. So I'm just going to show you some of those, especially with spring coming up. Um, and we're heading more into the summery outfits and spring outfits, shorts, t-shirts, things like that. So I'm just going to go over just a few items that I've got that I haven't been able to show off yet that I've really enjoyed so far and wish I could. This t-shirt here is just a Nike t-shirt. As you can see there. Um, and it's really cool. It's just plain white on the front with that little graphic there. But overall, the shirt I really like because it's such a nice feel a nice quality like it's a thick t-shirt it's a super thick t-shirt it's not thin at all it's really nice quality so i really liked that um and i thought this was cool uh it was released for um chinese new year it's from for chinese new year which is why it has this big logo on the back and i think that's kind of why i got it because this is really unique um it's printed on there but the basketball itself is embroidered and then this is embroidered as well. Um, but the graphic is just printed on. But I thought it looked super cool. I love the colors. And then this one is just a basic vintage wash. And I liked it because it's really hard to get a good vintage wash. But this one's really good. Um, and it's gotten a little better over time. It's gotten better over time too. So it is a nice vintage wash. And I like how it fits. I do like how it fits. It is from American Eagle. And it has just the tiniest little AE which I wish it didn't but some vintage tees like this can be more expensive it really reminds me of the minimal LA one but I got this on sale for like I want to say $15 um, while I was there so I just went ahead and got it um, because I'm not gonna let just this tiny embroidery bug me I mean American Eagle used to be cool in middle school so why not but it does fit really nice and I liked how it fit. Right, now I have some hoodies because I don't know about you, but where I live, it's still pretty cool. I live in Ohio, so it's, you can wear t-shirts during the day and be fine. But if I'm going out at night, definitely going to be nighttime hoodie time. Um, so I'll show you some nice spring hoodies. First is this one, the white one with all black swooshes all over. Obviously it's Nike. Um, I did want to point this one out because it is a cheaper alternative to the Nike Lab swoosh all over. I know that one's been really big right now. A lot of people are wearing it, um, especially Kais Omar. He's been seeing it a lot. They make t-shirts and everything as well, uh, Nike Lab does, and they are like $100. And this I got for $45. So if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, uh, I'm sure that one quality is a little nicer. This one is just like a basic hoodie feel. It's not bad quality. It's not amazing quality it's just a basic nike hoodie feel the only big difference is this one's gonna have strings where that one doesn't which is kind of in trend right now with hoodies but if you did want an all over swoosh and didn't want to spend over a hundred dollars on a hoodie this one is only 45 dollars and they have a bunch of different colors they have black and white they have black and gold red and white um just a whole bunch the last hoodie i did get this year is this adidas one got this print vertical in the front kind of on the chest area i bought this one because i liked the color it's that lavender or lilac color um very light purple and i've been really feeling that color lately i don't know why but it's like my favorite spring color right now um, i'm really into it so that's why i went and got this one and because i thought the back graphic looked really cool it's a lot going on but just thought it was a really cool hoodie adidas there on the hood it's all patched on there's nothing embroidered on it but it's like the i guess it's not a patch it's like rubbery all right we'll move on to shorts so i haven't got a lot of shorts yet 
um, because it's still kind of cool here. I'm going to wait a little bit. And I know nylon shorts are really in right now. And that's kind of what everyone's wearing. More nylon, less sweat shorts. But you're still always going to need sweat shorts. To me, they're still super comfortable. I don't really like the feel of nylon shorts, um, but they are in right now, so I'll probably get some. Sweat shorts still, in my opinion, in still comfy to wear. And I did find a really cool, and I did find a really cool pair that I like a lot. So it's these Nike ones with all the double swoosh. So it does have the double swoosh on this side, and then right in like the middle on the seam has just the one one swoosh there uh, and then the back just has this little bit of red under the pocket um they did this a lot it's kind of giving me off-white vibes and then i went ahead and also got them in red this was kind of a impulse decision to get both but i couldn't decide between the colors and i initially went with black and then i went back and got the red but i think i will get my use out of them so i'm not too upset about it but same same thing double swoosh on the front there check on the side and then this time in black on the pocket yeah these are really nice i'll go ahead and put some links for all this stuff in case you're interested in buying it um i'll try and see if it's still in stock places and lastly it is a beanie uh, it's like a fisherman style beanie fold over here uh, it's new era so new era does work a lot with supreme hats um this hat was only like 25 dollars. i can wear it so easy because with me, I can't wear a lot of hats. I don't like how they really look on my head. But I like the shorter hats, fisherman beanies. Um, and they have a lot of other colors too. Just like plain ones like black. And um, You don't have to get this bright one. But this is my favorite color. Bright green, volt type color is my absolute favorite color. Beanie, I got it from I think Finish Line, maybe Foot Locker. I'll put it in the description below. But they have plain colors if you don't want something super bright. But the fit of it is incredible. The fit of it is amazing. I like the shorter cap. So if you kind of like the fisherman style beanie shorter caps, I'll go ahead and link that below. Also, sorry my hair's a mess. Wow, my hair's a mess. But obviously, we can't go get haircuts right now. So just kind of go with it, you know. Especially the size. They've been driving me crazy because I like them a little shorter. But I'm also trying to grow my hair back out long. So it's probably a good thing they're shut because I know I would just say screw it and go shave the sides and keep it going but it's good um it's just a mess for right now sorry about that yeah i think that'll wrap everything up that's pretty much the main purchases that I haven't been able to show off yet that maybe you guys be interested in please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it it does help me out um i'm going to go subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i try to post twice a week usually saturdays and wednesdays i'm trying to keep you guys entertained during quarantine and go ahead and comment down below what your favorite piece was if you liked any of it and follow me on my social media I'll see you guys next time. Bye.